Goes Archaeology Unit and the University of Cape Town have had a long-standing relationship over many, many decades. The Archaeology Unit is directly linked to the Human Evolution Research Institute, or HERI, based in the Archaeology and Geology departments at UCT, where we're trying to reframe how we tell the story of archaeology to include everybody. So we're looking at targeting inclusivity, um, making sure that archaeology is not only viewed through a colonial lens. We study the deep past of human beings in Africa and we study human evolution in all of its facets. So from a geological point of view, from a biological anthropology point of view, of course from an archaeological one as well, and also understanding what the world was like that our distant relatives lived in. Yeah, and this is really important because people evolved in Africa. We have a very deep history in Africa for um, millions of years of, of our fossil ancestors um, who tell us a lot about who we are. And you know, we don't have written records back that, you know, that far back in time. And so we actually have to examine different aspects of the past to understand what was going on. And if we don't understand what's come before and we don't understand our resources, how do we move forward in the way that can allow us to best position our nation, our people, our resources um, to, for, for the best for all of us. Ezeko is a repository for, for materials. It's a repository for, for example, um, some fossil remains, some other remains that are there, um, archaeological materials, and, and many, many things that are relevant to us. But our relationship with Ezeko is stronger than that because Ezeko is also an educational institution. It's an institution that has a um, an immediate connection with the public. Um, it's an institution that has a very strong social responsiveness component to it. And so for Harry, that relationship is essential because it allows um, us as academics to have access to the general public, to, to communicate with the general public, to um, do socially responsive work, to do educational work, um, which is really the way that science should be going in the future. We're able to use our collections to trace through ages, how men have been interacting and also the impact that we've had with each other through migration. We've sort of learned that a majority of us, if not all of us, are migrants. And if you look at the question of xenophobia, uh, we've also established that a number of South Africans, in fact, are migrants uh, from elsewhere. And that has also enabled us to understand each other better and to say to broader communities out there, all of us come from the same families. Our history uh, is, a, is a, a mirror into our future. And putting those two things together makes the museum such an important thing in South African society. We have initiated this institute where we try and foster and build relationships um, with each other, with a host of international and continental researchers, curators, collaborators, and ultimately students, in the hopes of diversifying the discipline, introducing these disciplines to black women specifically, um, and that's our goal at HERI. We have a very close relationship with uh, HERI. I personally have found it quite fruitful. Uh, because there's a back and forth of ideas and actually a critique of each other's ideas. Uh, and we also want to improve access to uh, archaeology as the field. We, we want to see more black women um, in the paleosciences, in archaeology, um, yes, and make it more accessible in that way. It's about uh, growing capacity in South Africa, it's about growing young researchers, um, young South African re researchers, young African researchers, young black researchers, young women, um, to really thrive in this kind of a context. And, and I don't think we could do it uh, well without uh, our partnership that we have with Ezeka. One of the things we're talking about more and more is how do we train? How do we train students together? And, and what programs do we need? Where are, the, where are the real needs in South Africa and in Africa around work which is heritage-based, natural resources-based, um, which brings uh, groupings like Ezeko and UCT together? And I think that's what we'll see develop into the future, um, beyond what we're already doing, is this kind of training of the, the next generation to be able to expand what we're already doing. It is our hope 
that students, researchers and the public experience the museum as a space to rethink long-held narratives about ourselves, where we've come from, our relationships with the environment, our impact on the natural world and even our place in the universe.